All right, so as you can see here, this is the file for the mask we were looking at. Uh, pretty simple setup, right? So it's just the mask here and then a cap and then a little filter. And of course you would put actual filters in there as well. Let's check out these TPU settings. So for my TPU settings, it's very important that you change your retraction distance. Now, if you've never printed with TPU, that's a very common mistake is the retraction distance. If it's pulling too far up, it can cause some itch issues. And then as well as the retraction speed, you want it to go a lot slower than it would a normal uh, print, right? So PLA, it kind of hardens a little faster. TPU is a very soft filament and it stays squishy and soft for a while. So changing your retraction distance and the retraction speed is really going to improve the quality of your print. The next thing that you want to check out, so mine was the infill. So I have the 100% infill on this mask. Of course, if you're doing this for like a regular project, you can change that however, except for you do want a higher infill. You need a lot more structure in your print. Uh, otherwise, if you do like a 5-10% infill, it'll be, it'll be really light, but it will get destroyed a lot easier. So you need a little more structural rigidity on the interior. For supports, I've actually never had to, uh, that's not true. I've actually printed with supports. They can be issue uh, issues and be a little wonky sometimes for support. So just keep that in mind. Next is the primary extruder. The extruder for my TPU, I just want to double check this. Um, and I'll usually tell you on your spool, mine is a recommended 190 to 230. I found the 220 temp to be kind of the sweet spot on mine. Uh, although I should try and play with that and see if it's going to provide a little bit better print if I have it closer to maybe 200 or 210. And that could be an issue with mine. So I'll keep playing with it and then let you know as an update in the comment section if changing the temperature has helped. Uh, and it could be that because it is too hot, it's squishing too much um, and it's not having enough time to cool. And that's why I'm getting the uh, almost like a hollow print for it. And then finally, you're cooling over here. Uh, you're cooling, I believe, yep, we have that the same. Uh, you could actually lower that fan speed. That probably, well, I have mine set at 60% instead of the normal 100%. Lowering that even more might help as well. Um, again, you don't want it to solidify too fast, but you don't want it to take too long. Otherwise, the extruder goes around, especially on the size. And then of course your print speed, overall your print speed needs to be really diminished. I'm having mine at that 1600 millimeters per minute. Uh, so it, it's really slow. It, it takes almost double the time what it normally would with PLA. Anyways, if you found this helpful, please let me know. If you have better settings, I would love to know that too. Just because I like working with the TPU, I think it's a really cool filament. And I think there's a great potential use because of how bendable it is for creating face masks in our current crisis. All right. Uh, hey, thanks for watching, and again, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out growing this channel, and um, like this video maybe? That might be cool. That'd be helpful. All right, see you.